Pling, who works in our office in Bonn, and she is sitting at home there in Bonn. It's uh, in the evening her time. Michaela, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Good evening from Bonn, from a very snowy Bonn and cold. Oh, <laughs> I'm jealous. <laughs> okay. Okay, take so, it away, Michaela. Yes. Okay. So I would like to talk about rice tonight. Oh, not yet. It's tonight here in Bonn. Okay. <laughs> So, and what RISE stands for? Okay, RISE is Research Internships in Science and Engineering, and in 2005, DED has created this internship opportunity for science and engineering students from North America and the UK um, to give them the chance to spend a summer working with doctoral students on cutting-edge research projects. Um, we think that this cooperation with the PhD students is one of the reasons why RISE became so successful. The PhD students help integrate the intern directly into the lab work and serve as personal and as professional mentors. And the PhD students help also with the first steps in Germany to find housing, to get a mobile phone, to open a bank account and so on. Um, the internship um, is between 8 um, and 12 weeks in summer and it takes place in summer. The earliest possible start day is May 15th. And um, it is a web-based matching process. Um, another big advantage of this unique program for undergrads is that no German language skills are required. Um, the working language is English. Of course, some knowledge of German is helpful anyway if you want to buy a roll or a Brötchen, as we say, in a bakery, for example. And so this is why we offer also about 80 spots in a two-week language course for absolute beginners. Um, they are distributed on a first-come, first first-served base. Um, the projects they are located, located in research institutions like um, the Max Planck Institute and, of course, at the um, universities all over Germany. And um, today the database for PhD student closes um, at midnight here in Germany. And we are very proud to, to say that we can offer more than 600 projects this year distributed all over Germany. And we've got projects in big cities like Berlin, Munich, or Cologne, but also very interesting projects offering field work in, on an island, for example, like Helgoland. Who knows Helgoland? <laughs> and it's a very famous island here in Germany. Or in Tautenburg, a very small um, city in the northeastern part of Germany. Um, the statistics on the right corner um, they show a little bit the distribution of the different subjects you see. Um, so last year we had 78 uh, students in chemistry, for example, and 60 students in physics, and only um, eight students in earth science. And this year we hope to, to have more students in this field because earth sciences um, cover, for example, all this important field, climate change or green technology. Um, which is very important at the moment in Germany. Um, okay, what else? Okay, what do we offer? Um, the scholarship offers a monthly rate of um, 650 euro, a lump sum of 150 euro for a German way pass, uh, and moreover, DAAD covers health insurance, the costs of a three-day scholarship holder meeting in famous Heidelberg, and um, we apply, of course, for your work permit waiver. Um, last year, um, we placed um, 304 interns um, on scholarships, and we are planning to, to place 300 or 310 this year. Um, the next deadline is January 31st, and the database with all these interesting projects <laughs> opens on December 6th, so next Monday. Um, I want to read some sentences, or would, I would like to read um, some sentences of a final report of a RISE alumna, because I found it's very interesting what she said about research in Germany. Um, 
the best part of the research project was learning how to troubleshoot when things didn't work. Watching and taking part in the discussion really gave me a better insight into the leadership required from a graduate student. Whereas research back home is primarily directed by the professor, at least at the undergraduate level, my advisor and I had a lot of autonomy in our project. While we would discuss our progress with the head of the lab, both on an individual basis and during lab meetings, we were very much independent. I really appreciated being treated as an equal and not just as a lab assistant. You see, the research can be um, an adventure and it can be also very rewarding. So, if you are interested in this program, so please go on our website. There you will find all three RISE programs, RISE, RISE Professional and RISE Worldwide. And you see here again, you see the um, deadlines and when the database opens. Okay, now I would like to talk about RISE Professional. Okay, this is a picture of the scholarship holder meeting in Heidelberg, sorry. <laughs> you can see it's a very big group. Okay. RISE Professional. RISE Professional is the sister program of RISE and it stands for learning by working. Um, this program offers unique opportunities in a broad spectrum of companies and um, RISE Pro invites recent graduates, master and PhD students from North America in science and engineering to apply. Other graduates who are former RISE interns or former DAD scholarship holders are also eligible. Um, the German language requirements in this program depend a little bit on the nature of the internships. So please read carefully the project description in the database. Um, the duration of the internship is between six weeks to six months. It also starts in summer. Um, usually students stay three months in those internships and in the companies. Um, like um, the PhD students in RISE, the companies enter their project offers during October and November into the database and the database opens also next Monday on December 6th and um, will offer about 200 projects this year. Um, the scholarships are funded through DAD and the participating companies and um, it de the monthly rate depends a little bit on the yeah on your grade if you're an undergraduate or recent graduate or a PhD student for example undergraduate students of course they receive 650 euros plus um, 800 um, euros for travel expenses and of course insurance and also the costs of the scholarship holder meeting in Bonn are covered by DED. Recent graduates and master students will receive 750 euros and PhD students 1,000 euros per month. Okay, I talked already about the knowledge of German so please read carefully the project descriptions and the RISE scholarship holder meeting is in Bonn and of course you will also have company visits. You will go to Byron here which is located near to, uh, to Bonn, a big chemical company and if you are interested you can also go to the same website as to RISE and please um, choose then RISE Professional. Okay, what companies um, do take part in RISE Professional? So we have um, big chemical companies like um, Bayer and BSF and also pharmaceutical companies like Merck or um, BMW, Matzer and Ford and also medical care companies like Fresenius or Henkel. 
So, yes, that's all I can say about rice for the moment. Okay, I can go on and on and tell you how interesting it is to, to come to Germany. And I think doing an internship for eight weeks or ten weeks or twelve weeks is a very good start to, um, to go abroad and to see if you like it, if you like Germany and if you like doing research and we invite you to apply. Okay. Thanks so much Michaela. Um, and now we are going to move over to Laura Montgomery. Um, and Laura uh, represents RWTH Aachen University. She, as I said, she's normally in an office in New York and now she is actually from uh, reporting to us from Aachen itself. Hi Laura. Laura. There we go. Um, okay, Laura, we can see you, but can't hear you. Um, can you do a check on your microphone there, Laura? Ah, because I had muted myself. There okay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Hello. Welcome. Hey. <laughs> Take it away there, Laura. Okay. So back to business. So thanks for having me. Uh, and yeah, as Leslie said, I normally sit in the RWTH Aachen University office in New York City, but uh, as she mentioned earlier, I'm broadcasting now from uh, cold and snowy Aachen, Germany. Uh, so yeah, it fits well that I'm following.